Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. So this is the next part of passive information gathering or passive reconnaissance. In the previous video, we see the difference between passive and active information gathering and we see how we can collect information about the target using WIS protocol, NSLOOKUP and DIG command. And I briefed records like A record, A record and all, all these. So in this video i'm gonna use dns dumpster and i want to show you the difference between dns dumpster and ns lookup or dig tool so first of all i want to tell you that the biggest difference between these tools and the like ns lookup and dig and the dns dumpster is that you cannot find the subdomain using ns lookup and dig command or ns lookup or dig tool but if you go with the DNS dumpster, you will also find the subdomains published on the internet. So let's see. Dumpster. Okay. Not www, just dnsdumpster.com. And here I'm going to write tryhackme.com and search. So once you search this, come down and you can see the first and very effective difference between NS lookup and dig is here in DNS dumpster you will find the location also geographical location next whatever information you found on uh, who is protocol that tryhackme.com is using cloudflare name server so you found these two name servers before while using who is and you found them here also right next in the dig command or ns lookup command you find mx records mail server record and you found that tryhackme.com or tryhackme organization using google mail service so you found it here also another interesting part is you found the mx record with their ip addresses and that is very good Next, with NSLOOKUP, we found the text record, right, in the previous video. So here you also find the text record. So in the same place, you found everything. And this is the best thing. Another thing is A record. So you found uh, three IP addresses, these three IP addresses in the previous video when we uh, try NSLOOKUP for A record, right? But the difference here is you find the subdomain also. In the previous video, you did not get these two subdomains, but here you find these subdomains. Okay, and this is absolutely very good information if you are going to penetration testing. Because what happened sometime on the main domain, the website is running, right? Or some service are running but there is no vulnerability on that service so what will you do if you have more subdomains so you have more ground for penetration testing much ground for penetration testing okay tryhackme.com has a website but that website is not vulnerable so you can scan that another domain like remote.tryhackme.com or blog.tryhackme.com. This is just for example, right? So, and maybe you will found some service running on these subdomains, which is vulnerable. So that's why I'm saying as much subdomain you found, as more ground you have for penetration testing. And this is the best part as mapping of the domain so if you are creating a blueprint for the information you collected with the passive information gathering so you don't need to uh, create a map from you because you already have a map here in well mannered so you can see this is the subdomain and you find its ip you find the name servers corresponding IPs, 
you find all the mail server record with their IPs, everything is here. Fine. So that's why this tool is very good if you are going to try uh, passive information gathering. So let's move to Shodan. Shodan.io. Shodan.io is basically uh, a bit different from the uh, DNS dumpster because DNS dumpster give you the whole information about that domain, whether there are subdomains and MX records, IPs, everything. But Shodan.io is basically, this is a, a search tool or search engine which give you information about the devices connected over internet and once you search a device you can directly connect to that device so if i say tryhackme.com so you will find this service of tryhackme.com is connected to the internet and it is over amazon cloud and you can directly connect to that service now it's another matter whether you can uh, connect it or not but it will give you connection and for connection maybe you need username and passwords you need different arguments to connect a service but the connection uh, is provided by the shodan.io fine so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you find this content valuable Please like, subscribe and share and see you in the next videos. Bye.